I want to give you a quick tour of the browser-based Autodesk Viewer. It's actually a pretty powerful tool. You can upload many different file formats like a Revit model. So the actual RVT, you drag and drop. If we're going to upload a new file, we just drag and drop it here. Here's a list of all the supported file formats, which is pretty extensive. Once you drag and drop it, does a little processing, then it'll eventually show up here. GBXML files can actually be looked at. Uh, if you export one of these out of InSight, it comes out as a .xml, and you just rename it to .gbxml and drag it and drop it via the upload, and then you can view your energy model, both the spaces and the analytical surfaces here and in, in the viewer. Um, I want to quickly show you my law office model from my Revit books. First you'll notice it says expires in 30 days. It, uh, you can keep extending this, but then if you forget, it'll become unavailable. So I'm going to click to open this. And when I dragged and dropped the Revit model into the Autodesk Viewer, it had a section box applied to the default 3D view. You can see that's what's selected here. So that's how it's, that's why it's showing up like this. And the geometry outside of the section box just isn't here, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I think all this stuff is still showing up in the plan views. It's just the 3D model is cropped. And so there's options across the bottom to navigate. The default is orbit. Just like in Revit, if you select something first, that thing becomes the center of orbit. Another nice navigation feature is first person. So like the gaming environments and uh, Enscape, for example, you can navigate through the scene. With um, So right now I'm pressing W, now I'm pressing Q to go lower. So W, it'll always stay at the same Z height. So you can see it's basically stuck to the ground. So it's automatically going up the steps. So pretty nice way to look at the 3D model. There's options you can see down here to measure and and do some additional section box. There's an opportunity to mark up. So if you share this with somebody, and um, it's sort of like a 3D PDF, but um, arguably more robust. Um, so people can add comments. And then over here in the comments, you, you can describe um, what it is further, once it's done publishing, it says who made the comment. Um, there are some options here, like model browser in the upper left. You can turn off categories, so there go all the walls. If you select something, you can see properties from Revit. And then one of the coolest parts is the fact that you can see the sheets as well. So here's level one floor plan, and here's what I mean by that section box in the 3D view is cutting off this western portion of the model. Clearly that's still showing up in the plan views. So there's opportunity to measure 38 inches. And then ultimately, when you want to share this, you just click the little share icon and it'll give you a URL that you can give to people so that they can come to this location and, and look at the model for 30 days unless you extend it.